Hey, good afternoon, Trojans. TGIF, wanted to go into your uh, weekend with a little bit of a lift. It is uh, actually Thursday for me. It's about 1045 in the morning. Got a little break before I start my next uh, Zoom session with Dr. Nicole Law. Going to have some great conversations about equity. I know in these times, um, you know, we, we're a year into this now. We're just a couple days away. <laughs> it's been a whole year. Um, there's been a lot of public uh, opinion about how things have gone in education. And, and you guys know that better than anybody. And I think most of the stuff that I've read or I've heard has been very um, supportive and understanding. And, and I think uh, teachers are realizing a lot of our parents and guardians are probably have a newfound respect for teachers now that uh, a lot of the work on behalf of the, their own students is happening in their own living rooms, kitchens, wherever. Uh, but the bottom line is it's the person who's at the, the front line workers, the ones who are right there, the ones that really know the stories um, are the ones who really should be talking about it and the ones who really need to be listening to. So I'm hoping to give you a little bit of a lift on a Friday afternoon. Just want to let you know how much uh, the administrative team uh, appreciates all your hard work, uh, whether you're on the front lines in a, at an office desk, whether you're on the front lines working with a student, um, or you're right there, you know, on the front lines in in the trenches as the school teacher. So what I've done, I've adapted an old uh, poem. A lot of those that are in athletics have heard this before. It's known as the the man in the arena, and it's written by President Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt. So I've adapted it to this current time, and uh, this is for you. And it's called the one in the classroom. It is not the critic who counts not the individual who points out how the hardworking instructor stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done better. Credit belongs to the one who's actually in the classroom, whose senses are marred by a sea of avatars and precarious home connections, who overcomes one tech challenge only to find it replaced by yet another from the student's end, who steadily smiles and builds confidence with their learners who might come up short with a new activity because when it does succeed, it will unlock doors for young minds because there's no doing without failing or falling down or stumbling. Doing and succeeding are for those who strive to do the, do the deeds no matter what. The credit belongs to those who know that excellence is a habitual pursuit, not a destination who know that embracing this so that their charges too can see anything is possible. And in ref reflection, fully understand that in the end, the growth and high achievement are the residue of worthy devotion, who spends time with this worthy cause and knows there is no failure, there is no defeat for those that dare, and only the cold and timid will never realize this as will an educator. Have a great weekend, everybody.